Hello there, welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on washes and dry brushes. So what I've done is I've printed out two of these vomiting trees. This is from um, Printable Scenery. They print with no supports. Now what I've done is I've painted them both exactly the same. Um, just base colours. That's it. That's all I've done on them. Um, and what we're going to do is add shade um, like washes um, and dry brushing to one of them and then we'll compare them side by side so you can see what a difference it makes for you newbies who are new to the hobby and just started painting like don't get me wrong this looks fine as it is to use on a tabletop game or any sort of model really you know base colours you can see it's a tree okay it's got a big mouth and a tongue but you know you can see what it is but we can make this much much better so what we're going to do first we'll put that one to one side because that's the one we're going to uh, use to compare with after what we're going to do first is we're going to put some washes on it This is just a Citadel um, Nun Oil. What we're going to do is we're going to paint all the bark on the tree. Now, with washes, you don't want to put them on too heavy because when they dry, they can have a tendency to sort of um, crackle. Um, sort of, you know, give like a crackly effect when they're on too heavy once they've dried. Um, so... Make sure there's enough on now that um, it fills all the voids and the detail, but don't sort of um, don't have it absolutely swimming because it, it can really spoil the uh, the look once it's dry. Branches. Now you can see now, straight away, it's still wet, but you can see all them details on the tree are now showing. <coughs> now for the, um, for the skulls and the rope, I'm going to use a different wash. This is a uh, Agrax Earthshade. Another Citadel paint. Thank you. 
Actually, what I'm going to do as well, so I'm going to go over the rocks as well with this. Right now, you can see there's some difference with that already. The rocks are now, all the little stones and that that are in the rocks are all now standing out. So we'll put that aside to dry for a while and then we'll come back and we'll start some dry brushing. Right, so we have the two trees. The washes have all dried. So you can see now, it's picked out all the details on the tree bark. The stones are starting to look more natural so what we'll do now we'll start some of the dry brushing now what I'm going to do is start with a, a lighter brown and what you want to do is just put a tiny bit on the edge of your brush then you want to run it out as if there's hardly any paint left on it at all and then Start going over the trunk, pick out all those bits of details. And what you want to do is I'll bring it in here. You want to go across the detail. So where there's lines there, you don't want to go down, you want to go across. And as you go across, you'll pick out the lines because the very edge will start picking up the paint. Need a little bit more, go again. Go with all the like the roots, and then as we come up, we're going to go over the branches as well. So now, now you can see there's a big difference. Now you can clearly see all the little nobbles and patterns on the tree. Just picked out the details in the branches. <coughs> but we're not just going to leave it there. So you can use 
some more colours to start making it look natural. Um, whereas we went all over it with that light brown, as you add more layers of dry brushing, um, you don't want to necessarily cover the entire tree or model. Like so, some some models sort of dictates that you do, some don't. So with this, you want to get a tree to look as natural as possible. So it's more like picking out certain pieces with extra colours. Because with something like a tree, you want that colour variation. See, so right there, we've only just gone through where that sort of knot is. And that gives that an extra sort of different different sort of colour and obviously trees you get uh, moss um, stuff like that so you can add a bit of green So green you can sort of add to the bottom. And then sort of fade it up. And you could take, say, a darker green. And go a bit heavier on the bottom. some up on the branches Now with the stones, you want to pick something like a, a, a much lighter grey. Then Exactly the same with the stones. Right now you've got some sort of like green plants there, so I've done it in one sort of tone of green. Um, now if we take a 
sort of a different sort of green. Like I've gone, I've gone brighter. Just sort of flick over them. Gives them a bit of extra sort of detail. Now with the skulls, um, so I painted them originally with um, a shapsy bone. Then we put a wash over them. So what you can do then is just dry brush over them again with the same paint. Just pick out bits of it. Right, so now you can see from this now. That's looking a lot different. It's really quite a quick process. Like it's not, it's not anything major. So, now we've got the mouths. We can add some detail to them. Um, so let's go with a, start with a tongue get a slightly different purple a thin brush Just add a bit of a highlight down the centre of the tongue. Um, now this is a vomit tree, or this is called vomit tree. So I suppose what we could do as well is add some vomit. This is um, Green Stuff World um, vomit. Uh, we can add a little bit of blood as well, so I'm going to use the Green Stuff Weld Coagulated Blood. With the blood. We can just add that into the mouth. Perhaps a bit onto the teeth. A bit of vomit. We can just layer that. Oh, where we want it. We can actually pour a little bit straight on as well, get it to run, do the same around this side. Right, 
Right, we'll let that dry and then we'll come back to it. Right, so here we have the completed tree. Um, you can see just with 20 minutes extra, you can see all the details on the back of the tree compared to just a, uh, a plain paint job. The rocks look better, some more detail on the mouths, the skulls, they look more worn and natural. The branches on the tree look better. And all that was, all that was, was uh, a wash and then a couple of, uh, couple of dry brushes, different colours. And you can see what a difference it makes to a model. Just looks, just looks more natural um, compared to just a, a base paint job like don't get me wrong <coughs> for tabletop gaming the scenery it's, it's more than fine if you want your scenery to look more natural um, you know it's not a lot of work that goes into it um, for a big big difference so I hope you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe, um, we've got plenty of more videos and content coming out over the next few weeks, um, take a look back at some of our other videos, we've got one on skin tone, how to paint skin tone for beginners, um, and how to paint scenery like dungeon tiles and stuff like that, a few different ways of doing that, so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll catch you on the next one, thanks a lot, bye.